Well, the goon squad with Captain Tyler Vollmer. It was the first shoot of the season. We went out, had a great start in the morning. The, the three nice big trout on top water plugs. You know, we were using the mirror lures and making a lot of noise over the white spots. And sure enough, every white spot we went over at the time, it was boom, and it was always, you know, a nice big trout. Look at the belly on. I think he's Woo. been eating all night. <laughs> he's been eating all night and absolutely love that top dog. Then about the time the sun came up, my fear, every time we're out shooting, is that the bite just shuts off. We're done in here. Because they know the area, Blair and Tyler, they went from spot to spot to spot and just could not get a hookup and could not get a hookup and the morale started to fall. And then Tyler mentions that, hey Blair, do you remember how we met? Well, back when I was 13, we'd, uh, we'd just moved here from Texas and I was a huge addictive fishing fan. I still am, of course, but back then, you know, Blair was my hero. And uh, what about now, though? <laughs> <laughs> and um, my mom had uh, asked Blair for a fishing charter, and back then we really couldn't afford it. So Blair said, Don't even worry about it. Tyler's a huge fan, and I'll get him out. And sure enough, Christmas Day, I opened up a little package saying, There's a fishing charter with Blair Wiggins. And ever since then, I was like Ralphie getting a Red Rider BB gun, man. It was incredible. <laughs> You know, Tyler, he's done a great job, great guide, uh, super kid. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about Tyler. He's very personable, can get along with anybody out there. Well, I thought it was a real fascinating story that didn't make the show because we didn't catch a fish for five, six hours till about four o'clock. Man, these clouds, it's, it's tough to see them. What's happening, these clouds are coming in and out, in and out, and they'll stick their tails up, and then the sun will hit them, and they'll go back down. We'd see the fish. I'd put a DOA shrimp right in front of his nose, and he'd swim up to it, sniff it, and go whoosh, and take off the other way. So, you know, that we don't show that stuff normally, but that's what was happening for about six hours out there that day. Two good fish. Unbelievable, they're tailing and not eating. If it weren't for the fishermen, the producer, would, we would never make it because I just don't have the confidence that these fishermen do that the fish are going to show up and eat these lures. And they ate uh, DOA shrimp. There he is. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice fish, too. That's a good one there, brother. That's a real good fish. It was fantastic to actually have Blair talk about them as they were just sitting there grazing on the grass, and he threw that DOA shrimp, and we banged two of them and pulled out this show. So it, it ended up being a really great show, but it just shows you that sometimes the fish don't bite.